Starting a florist business from home and considering expansion into an online platform is an exciting venture that blends creativity with entrepreneurship. In real-time terms, this means understanding startup costs, identifying reliable suppliers, and utilizing digital marketing strategies effectively. Here's a comprehensive guide to get you rooted in the floral industry, aimed at providing practical, real-time information for aspiring business owners. Initial setup and costs. To kickstart your online florist business, initial expenses will include setting up your website, purchasing inventory, and marketing. On average, setting up a professional website can cost between $10,000 to $50,000, depending on whether you opt for a DIY platform like Shopify or hire a web designer. Initial inventory costs for flowers and supplies might range from $1,000 to $5,000, based on your market research and the scale at which you intend to operate. Keep in mind, these figures are indicative and can vary widely depending on your specific business model and location. Sourcing products. Finding the right wholesale suppliers is crucial for your floristry business. This involves not just the flowers, but also other necessities like vases, ribbons, and floral foam. For flowers, consider partnering with local farms or wholesale flower markets, such as the Los Angeles Flower District or the New York Flower Market where you can expect to spend anywhere from $1.50 to $4 per stem for common flowers and upwards for exotic varieties. For supplies, wholesalers like Dollar Tree or Alibaba offer competitive prices, with vases starting as low as $1 per piece when bought in bulk. Digital marketing and sales channels. In today's digital age, harnessing the power of social media and search engine optimization, SEO, is vital. Allocate a marketing budget that includes ad spend on platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Google. For a small business, a monthly budget of $200 to $1,000 can be a good starting point, allowing for adjustments based on the returns you see in terms of traffic and conversions. Revenue streams. Beyond selling individual floral arrangements, consider diversifying your revenue streams. Subscription services, corporate accounts, event styling, and workshops can all add substantial income. Pricing for these services will vary significantly. For instance, wedding arrangements can range from $2,000 to $6,000, while workshop fees can be set around $50 to $150 per participant. Real-time business idle example. Take inspiration from successful online florists like Urban Stems or The Books Company. These businesses have thrived by focusing on unique selling propositions such as farm fresh flowers, subscription models, and eco-friendly practices. Analyzing their strategies, from pricing to marketing, can provide valuable insights for your own business model. Practical tips. Budget wisely. Keep a close eye on your expenses and revenue. Use accounting software to track your financials in real time. Engage your audience. Utilize email marketing and social media to keep your audience engaged and informed about new products, promotions, and behind the scenes content. Optimize your website. Ensure your website is user-friendly, mobile-optimized, and SEO-friendly to maximize visibility and conversion rates. Feedback loop. Encourage reviews and feedback from your customers to refine your offerings and customer service continually. Executive summary. Business name example, Coco Florist. Business model, online florist shop specializing in arrangements for various occasions, including weddings, corporate events, and personal gifts. Mission Statement To provide customers with unique and memorable floral arrangements that enhance their celebrations and spaces, leveraging the convenience and reach of an online platform. Vision To become the leading online destination for floral arrangements, known for quality, creativity, and customer service. Market Analysis Target Market Identify your primary customers, e.g. brides-to-be, corporations, general consumers looking for gifts. Research their spending habits, preferences, and the average amount spent on floral arrangements. Competitor analysis. Analyze direct competitors, other online florists, and indirect competitors, local flower shops. Evaluate their strengths, weaknesses, and pricing strategies. Market trends. Stay updated with floral industry trends, such as popular flower types, eco-friendly practices, and technological advancements in e-commerce. Business structure. Management team. Outline the roles and responsibilities of key team members, including any florists, marketing specialists, 
and operational managers you plan to hire. Operational plan. Describe the process of sourcing flowers, creating arrangements, handling orders, and shipping. Consider partnerships with local growers or wholesale suppliers to ensure a steady supply of fresh flowers at competitive prices. Products and services. Product range. List the types of arrangements you will offer, including custom orders. Highlight any unique services, such as subscription models or DIY flower arranging kits. Pricing strategy. Set your pricing by considering the cost of supplies, labor, and shipping. Research competitor pricing to ensure your rates are competitive yet profitable. For instance, simple bouquets might start at $50, while elaborate arrangements for weddings or corporate events can go up to several hundred dollars. Marketing and sales strategy. Online marketing. Utilize social media platforms, Instagram, Pinterest, to showcase your arrangements. Invest in targeted ads to reach your key demographics. SEO optimization for your website will help attract organic traffic. Customer engagement. Implement a customer relationship management, CRM system, to personalize customer interactions, encourage repeat business, and gather feedback. Sales channels. Besides your website, consider partnering with online marketplaces and local businesses to expand your reach. Financial plan. Startup costs. Detail the initial investment needed for website development, inventory, flowers, vases, packaging, and marketing. A basic startup budget could range from $10,000 to $50,000, depending on the scale and resources already available. Revenue projections. Estimate your sales based on market research, proposed marketing efforts, and pricing strategy. Include a break-even analysis to determine when the business will become profitable. Ongoing expenses. Include regular costs such as website maintenance, inventory replenishment, shipping, and any salaries or freelance fees for designers and support staff. Funding request. If seeking financing, specify the amount needed and how it will be used. Outline potential funding sources, such as loans, grants, or investors. Detail the expected return on investment, ROI, and a repayment plan. Appendix. Supplier contracts include agreements with flower wholesalers or local farms. Marketing materials provide examples of marketing collateral or social media plans. Legal documents attach any necessary permits, licenses or incorporation papers. Launching a florist business online is a journey that requires passion, dedication and strategic planning. With a clear understanding of startup costs, effective supplier relationships and dynamic marketing strategies, you're well on your way to cultivating a blooming online presence. Remember, success in the floral industry, as in any business, comes from understanding your market, offering quality products, and delivering exceptional customer service.